So let's talk about this comment right here. My latest video, bro, said, but let's talk about the 0.0 in the key demo. I responded, but what is there to talk about exactly? He responded, I don't think that's a good start. I said, I'll talk more on this later. This is a reference to a video I did on Wheeler Yuta going to New Japan to be in the best of the Super Juniors tournament. Unprovoked, for no reason, he decided to bring this up. And let me say this. I know exactly where this comment comes from. It comes from a tweet that this bozo made right here. If you've seen any of his recent tweets, you know why I called him a bozo. Anyway, the guy said New Japan Pro Wrestling on Axis TV scored a 0.0 in the 18 to 49 demos with 46,000 viewers. Forbidden Door is appealing to a male niche that's smaller than even I knew. It's a niche within a niche within a niche. It's going to take a lot to sell out the United Center. Before I talk about his stupid tweet, let me talk about your comment real quick. Don't be a follower. And I say don't be a follower because up until that tweet went out, this tweet is like three days old. Nobody on God's green earth gave a shit about New Japan's key demos. I've never heard a single person in the wrestling community talk about the New Japan Pro Wrestling ratings on Access TV. This was not a thing up until that tweet. So once again, don't be a follower because I know you don't care that deeply about the ratings. Seriously, don't be messy. You literally had no reason to comment that on my post. Now back to this guy's tweet who basically traces back to the comment. Let's start from top to bottom. NJPW on Access TV scored a 0.0 in the 18-49 to demos with 46,000 viewers. First of all, bro answered his own question like two sentences later. It's a niche within a niche within a niche. It's in the name, New Japan. It's a Japanese-based television show airing on an American network. Access TV is not a popular American network. You ask the average person about pro wrestling, they're going to tell you WWE. I would say the average person may not even know that AEW exists. So what makes you think the average person knows that New Japan exists? I'd say 99% of America doesn't know that New Japan pro wrestling exists. As of 2018, TBS and USA Network are available in over 90 million households. Access TV is only available in 50 million households, almost half that number. So the reach that a Japanese wrestling show has on a network that's only half of the biggest wrestling company in the world that's airing at 10 p.m. on a Thursday night is not going to be that damn much. And once again, nobody gave a shit up until this guy said something. But on to the next sentence. Forbidden Door is appealing to a male niche that is smaller than even I knew. First of all, female wrestling fans watch New Japan, bro. Secondly, not only did New Japan help Ring of Honor sell out Madison Square Garden, but they also helped Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks sell out All In. Because Kenny Omega, Kazuchika Okada, and Kota Bushi were New Japan pro wrestling talent at that time. People were paying top dollar to see those matches with them in it. So it can't be that damn small. So on to your last sentence. They helped Ring of Honor sell out two big venues twice. It makes you think they're going to struggle to help AEW sell out the United Center. Which they did last year with CM Punk. Without even billing CM Punk on the card. New Japan may have been cold for the last two years. What y'all not about to do is act like it was not one of the biggest influences in all of professional wrestling for the late 2010s. Without New Japan, no AEW. Look at the timeline and tell me that I'm wrong. Don't drag New Japan into that demo bullshit, nobody cares.